again and I am chilling in my little corner editing some videos um, I just wanna uh, explain something really quick because I think I haven't been really uh, promoting myself my channel as much and I think I don't know it just feels right to um, you know give it make it more make it more legit make it more professional I guess uh, if I want to keep doing this so uh, so my channel it's titled Mozang Mozang is uh, kind of a combination of my first and my last name um, but um, I don't know I just use that name for multiple places and I think that's cool and, and because this channel is about uh, my collection so I guess my um, full name here on this channel will officially be Mosaic Collection yeah uh, that's it uh, hope you enjoy um, all the future videos and I do have a lot of good ones coming up so uh, yeah check out more videos and if you like stick around if you don't i don't care um, enjoy this video hello everyone this is mozing collection today i'm showing a lego puzzle again and this one i i made this but um it was made from a design that i found from art of play if you don't know Art of Play, they're a really cool company that uh, they make cards, they make puzzles, and they sell cards and puzzles and a lot of fun stuff. Check out their website, you, you really enjoy it. So one day um, after work, I came home, I was just working on this puzzle, it took me three hours straight <laughs> I was on this puzzle for three hours trying to create it because I don't have all the blocks trying to modify it, trying to make it look a little cool cooler um, try to not just have random colors you know everywhere and spend a lot of time trying to just make it into a really good looking puzzle and also really and, and also a working puzzle and the mechanism is copied from this design that I found and um, I did modify it uh, and I will show you later so first of all let's get into solving so the first thing you need to do I mean if you just look around you can see four holes over here and then over here just flat wall flat and flat and you kind of see there's like a cutout like a square cutout over here figure out how to open this and there's something in there so if you play around on the top you can figure out the sliding movement which opens a hidden compartment and this one you get a key from here after getting this key obviously you come over here and there are four different spots and you try to just poke in there and if you Trying the third one really goes deeper than all the rest. So you go to the third one and try to give a little more push. It pops right out. There was a chicken in there um, because you're a winner and you get a chicken. Well, you can put water right in there, but it's pretty cool, pretty good looking, and the drawer looks nice as well blends in really well and yeah then you push this right in and then um, plug the key put it back where it was and lock it up so a few details that I put in there um, first thing I guess if you look on the top it starts with M which is the first letter of my name um, in the original design it wasn't like this it was just a zigzag line goes across the whole thing. I 
one reason I changed it was because I didn't have enough blocks to create that perfect zigzag. But also another reason I did it was because, I don't know, it just makes sense. Also, take a look at this. If you turn it this way, it looks like a three and the answer to the, or the solution to the, to opening the, the box was to uh, plug into hole number three. And also, um, yeah, as I made this really short, the, the original design was longer. I think that was because you were you you're able to uh, hide the key and also block this. Here, the key was sitting like this, and this hole was blocked. Uh, instead of you know open like how how this one is, so I had to make uh, one piece that's able to uh, block this hole and also let this key sitting there. And see if you go the other way around, they won't fit. You have to put the small small siding and it will sit flash all the way down right mm, the read that I don't know cut it short made it shorter than what it used to be it was just I don't know I think I didn't have enough blocks and I think I could use less blocks to make this work and I'm pretty sure the original design you were able to uh, uh, not push it down like this one because the key right now is uh, just one level short so if you push here you can open this but I tested this puzzle with my girlfriend I show, show her the, um, I let her try to solve it and she she tried the first thing that she did differently was that she pushed this down and opened this up instead of um, you know sliding this and also uh, yeah she didn't go for number three because the letter was on top that one I'm not. I'm okay with. Um, it's just a hidden small detail in there. But when she was trying number three, she didn't know to push it all the way in. She thought this was it. This was um, the right move already. So no, you know she was trying to figure something else out. No, um, what you're really supposed to do is just push it in a little more. Then you can get this out. And also the original design, this, this, the the box was not held in there by um, blocks like this. It was held in there by like a, a stick that connects two blocks. And basically, I had to make some changes uh, to make it work, but it ended up worked. And it's nice. Um, Nice look and nice color. I just really like it um, overall. So I'm super happy with this design. And if you have some Lego laying around, just some extra parts, you should definitely go try and make a Lego puzzle box. And it's just really fun and really, you know, it's not just the solving and the putting it back part. It's the building part also. So you are making the puzzle and you're creating your own puzzle and then solving the puzzle and then putting it back together and you gotta keep it right if it's good enough the first lego puzzle i made it was just me experimenting trying to figure out what what kind of things i can do and there wasn't you know it definitely wasn't a, a legit one that is all from this little guy that i'm gonna show so, hope you enjoy. See ya.